Hey, what's good, you all? It's Obaya Mahamonix in the building. And welcome to the Studio Hub series, um, my segment whereby we showcase some of the time that we find here in Beta Up. And today we have a special guest. She's a vocalist and she goes by the name Miss Candy. So let's get it. Candy and you are watching the Studio Hub series with Mohamonix. Yo, old school music. I listen to but Westlife, Backstreet Boys, classic music. That's what I listen to. Songs that you sing along to. That's what I do. Music is life, but I do have a life outside of music. I'm a preschool teacher at the moment, and I'm also a student. Also a student? Yes. Where? Uh, Bite Size College. Oh, Bite Size College. Yeah, like next door, like this side. Yeah, what cause are you studying? Early childhood. Early childhood. Yes. Don't ask me how I got my job, nah, nah. but I did get it. <laughs> All for the love of, just for loving kids. I got the job just for the love of kids. So, uh, yeah, so we can decide to further. So where are you teaching? Where are you teaching? Well, shout out to my preschool, Tipi Toes, Block 9. Block 9. Hey, it's in Block 9, that side. Hey, that's where I work. Oh, okay. So hey. you know that side, I didn't know where he lives that side. He lives that side, there's like a bit, at least village, athlete village, that's where they are. Uh, hey, until he retired at least, but yeah. Locally, right now, I'm in love with Ginger Stone. I love her two bits. I love her voice. I love her, her ability to write music and feel and her feelings. Um, I also love Team Distant, obviously. I'm also Team Distant. I've been a Team Distant fan for years, since the beginning. And then internationally, I'm a Prince KB girl, through and through. Hey. So what genre does Prince KB? Piano. It's house. It's house. It's house. It's just sometimes you dabble here and there. I get what I will extend. I worry. I'll try to call it, but it's still house. And then, like, locally, you talked about Ginger Stone. Yes. There, is it R&B? Ginger what Stone is, is like me. She's a chameleon. She does everything. So, I think at the moment, watching her grow, she started off in a hip hop kind of situation. And then she's housing with Barra Barra now, Team Distant. And then now, I think she's she's trying to create an EP that's R&B. So I don't know, I can't answer for her, but that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Wow, I was a child. I, I was a dancer before I became a singer. I didn't know I could sing until other people started being like, I know you can sing, because when you're just making noise, can't you know what you're doing? So, yeah. Yes, I was a dancer. What type of dancer? Hip hop dancer. And uh, hip hop, a little contemporary, because I was trying to teach myself to dance, and then a little ballroom here and there. I'm too old to be ballroom dancing anymore, because I forgot all that. But hip hop through and through. <laughs> oh my gosh I've always wanted to be in Maven Records Nigeria I wanted to go there but then how whole and you realize Def Jam is kind of like the place to go 
especially when you want to be like Rihanna, you know? So, yeah, that's where I want to be. One of those two, whoever comes first, I'm going. Hey. I'm not choosing them over anyone. I prefer both of them. I love Maven Records because I love Debunch. I love, you know, Tua Savages, everybody. I love them. I wanna, oh, I wanna work with them. But Def Jam is international. It's there, it's everywhere. It has everyone we listen to growing up and now. You know, Def Jam poetry slams and everything. So yeah, I love Def Jam. But we'll see how universal that ends We don't know. <laughs> I am gone, people. I will be gone in a split second. Let them go. I'll read it first because I don't want to be screwed. But yeah, I'll be gone in like a split second. Okay. Eh. So, did you ever care about these guys? I feel like the problem with that is that people are in a rush to be famous. People are in a rush to just be known. I've been in this industry since I was like 13. People don't know me, but I'm not in a rush whatsoever. When you get a contract, you go through it. Get a lawyer. Don't just sign a contract because yo, not everybody's here for you. Okay. Hey. So like when I what are you in it for? Are you in it for money? Kind of fame? Money is a bonus. Fame? I'm not really such a big fan of fame. But honestly, I just love music. I love doing music. I love sharing my talent. I love singing for people. It's something that I would do with or without the money. Mm -hmm. yeah. So mostly it's based on passion. Yes. I've loved music from the youngest age I could ever remember. When I had my son, son, when I had my baby boy, okay. I was like, you know what, I'm gonna, cause I think at that time I had already given up on music. Cause when I got pregnant, I think I was like, I can't be doing music anymore. Cause I have to focus on my son. But then after he was born, I was like, I should keep pushing. Cause the more I push, the more I'm gonna get what I want. And when I do get what I want, I'm gonna be able to provide for him and just give him a better life. Yeah, he raised me. He literally made me a woman, man. He made me more of like, you know what? I have to keep doing this. Cause now, back before I had him, I wasn't in a rush, I guess. So I okay, no, I'll go to studio when I feel like it. I'll write a song when I feel like it. You know, I I depended on having a certain feeling to write a song. But now I can just be sitting right now with you and I can think of something, I'm gonna write it down. And you know, it's gonna be easier for me to get most to the There is an end goal that I'm reaching for. And back then, can I give what other people wanted me to do? You know how you're like trying to fit in to like the scene, you're trying to fit in with everyone, you're trying to get people to notice you by doing what everybody else is doing. But then, when you're doing that, you actually just blend into the background. Like, do what everybody else is doing. You're blending in. So, by that, you know what, I can't be doing what other people are doing. I have to do what I want to do. So, if you listen to my songs progressively from back when I started to now, I keep growing and I'm learning to channel my feelings, channel my thought process, channel my writing. Doing it again, but hey, that's how it's changed. Age and time. That's what brought it upon me because I want to be a classic, a timeless type of musician. Motota in 10 years from now, my son is a music of Argana, that's my mom. It's sing a song we forget. Okay, eh. Eh. Yeah. I did not come up with this name, but my name is Chipo. Can I Chipo Siguele? Okay. 
Hey, my name is Chibuzi Gwele. When I was younger, I have a best friend. We've been together for like 10 years now. Her name is Atle Barati, shout out. We, we were dancing together and we had to come up with names for ourselves, like our alter egos. And Kemotridi Suiki Ribatong, sweets, sweets. If you want to win my heart, you just chocolate and sweets. Exactly, so it was like, choose a name and it was like Candice. And then from then on, it became Candy. And then my mom even calls me Candy now. So, integrated. And then in the music scene, I started off as Black Candy, the original Black Candy, the Yummy Mommy. And then I was like, you know what? I'm grown. I'm like 20, in my 20s now. I can't be Black Candy. It's, it gets old. So, I'm just going to be called Miss Candy. And it's Candy with an I, not Candy with a Y. So, if you put it, why, why is it wrong? Everybody's named Candy with a Y. Oh, okay. It's so, it's just like Candice but cut short. like Candy cut short with an I. Oh. No, it's just Candice. Candice. Eh. Because my sister and my son, they call me Candice on a pool just for some reason. Eh. It's a solo name. It's just me. Hey. That everybody's not here for you. Not, not everybody has the best interest, like your best interest at heart. It's always about making money. It's always about doing what suits them, honestly. So you have, you, I experienced certain, a certain path where you can hey. My life and you can be trusting somebody with everything, with your talent, because they're going to take advantage of you, take advantage of it. So, you know what, I'm just going to be by myself, I'm going to be independent, I'm going to do what I want to do, and make decisions for myself. Have patience. That's number one, have patience. And as you are having patience, work. Keep working, push, push hard, keep dreaming, keep praying, my guy. Prayer. One if you don't pray, none of these things are gonna happen. Have a case over against the seven years, grapple, la hope, la collaboration, you team to stand the batomudimo. Baka was a dream. I think, I don't think they'll believe me if I say I spent seven years, Kirkabata, America, team to stand. I once ambushed them, Kirkabata collaboration. It didn't work out at that time, but God's time is always perfect. And here I am, I have a song with them that's about to come out in their UEP. Yeah, so yeah, next one's gonna be a lot of people, but okay. <laughs> I am! Hila, it's called Hila, my guy. It's called Hila. The song, I cannot tell you when it's dropping, but the EP is gonna be out very soon. You know, check them out on you know Apple Music, iTunes. Just keep them up, keep watching. Kape like colder than water. Ginger Stone is there is like the leading track in the EP. So yeah. Oh, so Ginger Stone is also EP. Yes, she is on the EP. Literally, this EP Hella is based on progressing progression. Yeah, yeah. BW vocalists. A. Hey. My biggest failure that I can think of is not trusting myself, trusting my judgment, and trusting that I am better off by myself than with other people. I guess no man is an island, but sometimes, sometimes it's best to just walk by yourself, experience things firsthand by yourself rather than waiting for someone to come and tell you. Especially in this industry, this day and age, because yeah, it drains you when you're trying to do something and somebody's just as there blocking you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't wanna lie. I don't wanna lie. There are a lot of myths that are actually true. I don't I won't say which one, but Hakonatala minus three. Maybe like like one in twenty 
is truly truly your friend in the industry and they know the only way to progress is if they are helping each other if you don't let that 19 if you don't benefit them so there's nothing i'm gonna debunk and there's nothing i'm going to reinforce but it's a lot some things are true some things are not <laughs> one oh my gosh i don't know what to say oh there's there's one there's one myth i think there's no there's no music in Botswana. there's a lot of music in Botswana. There's a lot. Even like in Motuel, my grandmother Galapeng was like, "There's no music in Botswana. There's no music. You have to stop doing it." But there's a lot of music in Botswana. How about international artists? Balola hotla mo Botswana yana. It's because there's a lot of potential. You can mold the industry into whichever direction you want. And the youth, it's our time to actually take it by the reins and push. Aban. But yeah, that's probably the only myth I can debunk. Everything else, it's not my business. So what did you? She reacted just like any other mother would. She react. She freaked out. <laughs> she was like, "What? No, that's not a path you'd wanna do. No, no." But I think at that time my mom didn't un- didn't know how big of a passion I had for music, and she didn't know my capabilities in music. Cause Nikki Michaela Shai, la Nikki did music. I wasn't doing my f- full potential. Like said, really what I could do. So now that I have the freedom to do it. Wabona, she she sees it, she hears it, and she's loving it. Eh, how about you get me to So, what right now? No, I live by myself. I had to get out of the rutolo harasa matadi barona. No, no, no. Eh. The, new, the meeting new people and being able to be creative, the creative freedom, yeah, thing. But I can go to studio and tell edits, Ghana Thomas, okay, this is what I'm hearing in my head, do it. And it's exactly what I want. That makes me happy, and I can listen to my own song and be like, you know what, this is gonna be a hit. Yeah. Although some of the things haven't come out, so I don't wanna be blowing my own horn like that, but yeah. That makes me extra happy. Mm-hmm. Ah, why? Why Tandoloko? I was pregnant, I was alone, and I was upset, my guy. Uh, as a pregnant woman, stress, you know how we're not supposed to have stress? So my stress relief was writing my feelings down. AR. Yes, I was venting. I didn't have a therapist. Eh, because I didn't have a therapist. Corner key qual. Heartbreak. It's all about heartbreak. It's all about feeling left alone. Err. Tanulako is a mixture of English. So to get the Zulu and Kosa probably. I hope they don't kill me, but I know they might kill me for just not knowing which language I used. But yeah. Because there's no Sutana in it. <laughs> I don't know how when you're writing a song, there's always supposed to be that name, that like, the, what, what you call it is supposed to be something that's, that's catchy. So it was Tandolako, and it being called Tandolako makes it stand out like Tandolako. What about Tandolako? So yeah. Hey, I guess then it's gonna force you to be like, I wanna hear what Tandolo- what's wrong with Tandolako. Hey. Mercy is about love, man. It was love. I was feeling somebody, still am feeling with somebody, and this was just the way of me asking them I've been through a lot I've seen things that any like that the hell a girl like me should not see so maybe please hopefully take it easy on my heart man have mercy on me okay. <laughs> yes it was a pleading cry take care of me 
I'll take care of you if you take care of me. So, yeah. No. Excuse me, privacy. Excuse me, I'm an ambush. I'm good. Okay. Eh. So, in the occasion of taking the sub, Missy, Raul Bryan approached me first. He approached me. We have a friend, Kennedy DJ Just. DJ Just, they. they Facebook. Oh, we had to love Facebook. So. We were friends on Facebook sharing memes and then he usually watched my music videos as I was like singing on Facebook and then him and Raul are friends. So I think he was looking for a vocalist at the time and then Abamara I know the perfect candidate for the song. And then that's how me and Raul got to know each other and we became friends. Yes. Yes, he is. He approached me. No. And I was content with my nobodyness. <laughs> <laughs> hey. But when are you willing to somebody Yes, I am. Kind of like how I'm trying to harass Prince KB. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm willing. Okay. I don't mind. <laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> so you have like a strategy that you want to use to Prince KB? Okay, I've tried the whole continuous inboxing not kind of working because I feel like a lot of people are doing that so now the only thing left is for my music to be released and maybe if I can send him work that is out there work that he can hear and see or then he can be like okay I can I can work with this girl because I don't want the whole what's her name the Casper and that chick situation happening as now my platform about Mosheida hey so I hope he sees this. I'm not shading him. I really just want to work with him. Okay. <laughs> so I should, I should. Prince KB. I mean, my guy. Yo, since the dreaded days, since the shallow days, my guy. Since you've like DJing, Modi community, how long, my guy? I've been following you from the beginning. And now you're as big as you are. And all I'm asking for is just one song. One, just the one. Song. That is all I need. I'll be happy for the rest of my life. I swear to you. And I won't disappoint you. <laughs> I am speaking it into the universe. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. It was pretty interesting, especially because his sound is not what I'm used to. It was pretty interesting. Uh, tech, Afro tech, something like that. <laughs> uh, it's kind of like afro tech deep house ish somewhere there um but yeah his sound wasn't something that i was used to because he is more of like a black coffee kind of fan and he's inspired by him he looks up to black coffee and <laughs> i'm sorry don't kill me but i don't listen to black coffee that much like i listen to him here and there but yeah so it was it was really eye-opening. It opened me up to like broader prospects about music. Yeah. yeah, I have to be diverse. I have to be, you know, versatile in this industry. Yeah. Well, I cannot say the name because I forgot the name, but the person who recorded me was Q Rap. He's a rapper in ghetto on Nagutati siding. So Q Rap is usually the man that I go to, I can look at ghetto. So yeah. Yes, Q Rap. Yes, he's a rapper. Eh. No, Q Rap actually wasn't just done by one person. Q Rap recorded me and then I think mixing and mastering it through like in Raul because he's like versatile like that as well. He can mix, master, record everything. Hey. So he's a fully fleshed. He is everything. He's everything. One man, one exactly. Hey. Okay. <laughs> we need people like that. We do, we really do. So how long are you planning on <clears throat> Forever. At least until like I'm old, grey, and my son has everything, and my future children and my great grandchildren are provided for. 
Eh. It depends on who you are, and it depends on what you do. Um, even looking at the COVID pandemic, a lot of people weren't making money, but we were making music either ways, and we weren't getting anything out of it. But now that we're kind of going back to normal, kind of, because it's still the mass situation, um, I feel like we're going to be going back, because the way us artists, the mobile don't make music, we can't make money off royalties, because we don't get anything. So... Performance wise, yes, merchandise wise, yes, you make money, but you have to keep pushing and you have to bring something new, you have to be innovative with that. But yeah, music makes money, you just have to, just have to know how to make money. Yeah. I haven't tried them as of yet because as I said, I am a teacher, I am a student and I'm a musician and a mother. So I try by all means to give my attention to everything fully. Hey, so, but it's Tawara. We're going back to normal very soon. Come to my show, come listen to me sing and stuff like that. But yeah. <laughs> my diary is my music, it's always my music. I don't have to write something down, but it's always in my music. If I'm feeling a certain type of way, a song is gonna come out. Eh? So if I'm happy, but not necessarily meaning if I sing a heartbreak song, that means I'm heartbroken at the time. It just feel, just seems now I'll be chilling and I'll be remembering something and I'll be thinking of something and then a song is gonna come out. Eh? Well, at the moment, we're still waiting for Team Distant to release our song in the EP. But yes, and there's another song that's going to be coming out with DJ Lex. Uh, we're doing great things. There's DJ Pavlo as well. You know, Pavlo FX, we're doing that as well. Kurukunzi, guys. I'm, I'm not just chilling, sitting down, waiting for things to be handed to me. I'm constantly, actively working on my music as I go along. Mm-hmm. It's called healer, healing. I'm healing somebody's soul. Kata ko mo hodi sa kung nagkaya no. Erra. Eh, kotor kami reto buto ko rin mo you know, kung sila la may kuto. Well, well, um, Facebook. Miss Candy Siguele, that's S I G W E L E, Miss Candy Siguele. Um, Instagram, I'm Miss Candy underscore 96. At Twitter, I am Miss Candy Siguele. So do that, follow me there, and yeah, you can have fun and see all the stupid things I post. But yeah, yeah. That's Shona Mage, I'm Kalanga. Yes, I am. Mm-hmm. So Shona is also Shona and Kalanga. Yeah. The kind of together. Yeah. Hey, so you 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 remember to Moko Tando Loko. My Okay, I was born in Swaziland. Yes. But I was raised here in Kimotana So that's kinda easy for me to form because I relate. Kinda. Because the neighbor is almost in home. <laughs> eh, no, I'm sorry. I should have explained in the beginning or why, how. Eh. Yeah, I was born in Swaziland. Lies 
to me You didn't have to break my heart Now you're just somebody that I used to know Open me up, help me, call me